this is Kevin Cotter. He's a founder of New Earth Market, and he just wanted to share with us why he decided to start this. So take it away, Kevin. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Um, so really, it all began with my daughter's adversity. Uh, at the age of three, uh, she developed uh, asthma, and she wasn't born with it, um, but she developed it, and uh, it manifested itself as this uh, as this wet cough, mm-hmm. and it would last 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So we found ourselves going to the doctor, and she was prescribed uh, Singular, uh, for, and that worked for a while to handle the symptoms mm-hmm. of the asthma, but it didn't really deal with the asthma itself, and so. Then we were bumped up to a nebulizer treatment with a bronchial dilator. That worked okay. And then finally we had to resort to prednisone, which is a steroid, which is not a good thing to be on, especially for a child that age. It's, it, a steroid use on the liver is just not good long term. Yeah. So here we have this little girl who's developed this asthma, and she wasn't born with this. So I was like, what's the root of her asthma? We were treating the symptoms. Mm. We weren't getting the root of her asthma. And so we went to a lot of doctors, we, ended up, we were in Nevada, we went down to Los Angeles, we went to all these different testing places, and we got some advice, but it wasn't the right advice. And mm-hmm. all along, she still has this asthma going on. She was missing, by now she's three, almost, uh, she's four now, and she's starting to go to uh, kindergarten at Vista. Mm-hmm. And she has a substitute teacher one day, and she goes, you need to take your daughter to see Dr. Gray down in Saratoga. He's a homeopathic doctor. He was trained in Stanford as a Western, in Western medicine, but he also has Eastern medicine teachings. So I'm like, we'll try anything. We'll try anything at this point. So we go down there, and uh, it was the most amazing appointment. We go in, and as soon as we walk in the door, he, he kind of knew what was wrong with her. He looked at her. She's blonde hair, blue-eyed. Mm. And so we sit down, and we do this whole interview thing. What does she crave? What does she fear? You know, for the lifestyle, different things like that to ver- validate what he thought was wrong with her. She couldn't really articulate that as she's sitting there coughing and, you know, right. and this little girl who's timid, not wanting to talk to this, this, this man. And he simply said, Take her off dairy. It's very common for people that are blonde hair, blue eyed, and be lactose intolerant. I was like, are you kidding me? It's that simple? Whoa. He's like, yeah, we'll give her a remedy to boost her immune system, but get her off of dairy. So we took her off dairy. She's almost 17. Here she is. It's almost 14 years later, and mm. she's off. she hasn't been on meds for years. That was great, but she still, she missed a ton of school. Mm. So we're thinking, okay, she missed school, she's got to play catch up, but she still wasn't learning very well. So we're like, okay, what's going on? So we decided to get her allergy tested, and guess what? She also has a gluten intolerance. Oh. So not only does she get hit by dairy, she gets hit by gluten. So it's like, you know, and at that era, there wasn't a lot of options mm. in, in our yeah. community, especially, or really in, in the natural foods movement. It was just beginning to, you know, get some traction. But, you know, you look back at these pictures of her, and we're giving her milk in a bottle, and she's got this mucus coming out of her eyes, and we're poisoning her and didn't even know it. Yeah. Had no idea. So we found ourselves having to drive um, to Sacramento to get this kind of food that we needed to support her because we couldn't get it here locally at the time. Mm-hmm. And so I went on vacation to North Carolina, North Carolina and stumbled upon this grocery store in Asheville, North Carolina called Green Life Groceries. Uh, asked to, asked, well, came home, asked to see if I could reach out to the, uh, the owner of the store and we connected. And he's like, look, I'd love to help you. I love helping mentoring people. Oh, and awesome. I came home. And I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of being in the trucking business. I've been in the trucking business for 30 years. I was unhealthy myself. Uh, I got up in the morning at four o'clock one morning and um, cobbled together an email to a bunch of my buddies and said, hey, listen, I got this idea for a natural food store in Yuba City. And I was just kind of waiting, you know, it's, they're not awake yet. So six o'clock yeah. rolls around, seven <laughs> yeah. o'clock rolls around. The first email I got back was, are you high? <laughs> but then that manifested itself into a bigger conversation. I'm not a nutritionist by a long shot. Mm-hmm. I just came at this from my daughter's adversity to trying to make her better. So yeah, so long, long story short, you know, we're almost, uh, we've almost been here six years in this community and now we have a second store in Chico, which is kind of surreal. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, we're, we love what we're doing and it's, it's a lot of fun.